Hey nerds, welcome to Jerry Berry Acts. Today we're going to react to season two, episode one, aka the season two premiere of Lucifer, entitled Everything's Coming Up Lucifer. His name is in the thing. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe for daily content. If there's a day, there is a reaction. Links will be in the description box down below for the Patreon, the Twitch stream, and everything in between. And Jerry, oh, he's, oh, he's almost falling off that table, honestly. I need to readjust him. We'll do his best work behind the scenes. And we had our whole last season, the whole building point being, uh, you know, uh, Amenadiel wanted to take Lucy back to hell. And then at the end, he was like, I don't want to take you back there. And Lucifer dies. And when he's in hell, he sees that the, the door is open and somebody escaped hell. And it's his mother. Which means God was clapping cheeks. And on that note, we're going to get into our season two premiere. Let's go ahead and hop right into it. Jerry, get to work. And let's watch. Playing music by the sounds of it. Oh, hey, I remember watching The Dark Knight too. Hell yeah. So you escaped hell looking for an empty body and found this poor sod who just died of a heart attack and now here you are wreaking havoc on her. The jig is up. We found you, Mum. Wait, what? No. You just said you wanted to escape your shackles? Yeah. yeah. When the paramedics brought me back, I realized I needed to be free. Yes, from hell. No, man, from dead. I owe close, a ton of money. Close, but not close enough. No. From underneath it. Yeah, man. You know what? I'm sick of this. It's who are you? And... It's not mom. <laughs> Fucking rude. Bro. Look at this. Hold up. Well, not him. Look at these two together. I got you, brother. Teamwork makes the dream work. Look at these two beautiful brothers in arms. An angel and the devil. Just being hashtag homies. Out here working together to try to find their mother. Have a body. Their mother she lover, like mother she brother. Form of someone who's recently died. Which... Dead. Your gun's gone. You got a crown on and your booty ball ass snake inside the jewelry shop. Yep. Oh, Lucifer's form of punishment is literally just high school pranks. I like Linda's style she got going on real quick. Show back, show Linda again. I want to look at Lucifer. Very well. Okay, not her eyes half open. But look, the shirt, those colors look nice. The necklace. I like her hairstyle. It's different. Good for you, Miss Martin. The only trouble was they were celestial beings, so... That moment created the universe. Mm, the Big Bang. Never knew how appropriate the name was until now, did you? Anyway, they became mum and dad. They had that a was the Big Bang. Oh, my God. They were just fucking bow, bow, and then... A litter of kids, including yours truly. And they built a house. They called it Heaven. I can't see the last name on that jersey. It's, they, it's blurred the whole time he's walking. The occasional eye roll. I think I got a snort once. Two days ago, you were shot point blank. Ah, oh, well, no need to thank me for my heroism. So it's been two days since the season one finale. Yes, there's a lot of pauses, a lot of talking points from in the first episode. She's just not... Piece it together, Chloe. Jesus fuck. Also, happy season two premiere. Oh, maybe just a little. No one's stopping you. <laughs> there was blood all over you. You should be dead. Well, part for the course for our adventures, detective. What's new? I have a sample of your blood, and I'm going to take it and test it. Oh. And I'm going to find out exactly what you are once and for all. Oh. Yeah. Devil himself. No, yeah, well. Larry Morningstar, the son of a plumber in Connecticut. Right, well, wrap that up, would you? Because I could use your help on my end. I'm on a bit of a manhunt. Well, woman hunt, and I need to find her before I... Jesus. I'm too late. Fuck. Oh, Lucy. I'm home. Season two. How many years after the first season was this? Like, maybe, like, a year? Everybody looks extremely different. I don't know how to explain it. Anyone? Contusions on her neck. So the horns were added post mortem. Yeah. Choked her ass so out and then threw the some point of impact God. Is yellow paint. That means that there was no blood pressure when our killer went all stabby stab. And stabby McStab stab. She was killed somewhere else. I didn't ask for this. You didn't turn it down either. Would you rather I go to jail? Yes. Any tricks you would prefer that? No, it's just. It's a lot to take in. It's a lot to take in. I appreciate you turning yourself in in the first place. <laughs> This is the equivalent of almost giving him a vacation. Paid vacation. This motherfucker, bro. Merk. You must be Detective Decker's civilian consultant. Lucifer. I never immediately say something to somebody they just hug without permission. I was expecting a different reaction considering your choice of bling. Oh, dude, I had a friend named Adolf. <laughs> okay, Adolf. I had an old thing against him. And besides, I think the devil gets a bad rap. Oh, my oh, God. You do, do you? Sure. I mean... What do you really do that was so bad? 
What, rebel against his dad, ask some naked lady if she wanted an apple? You stole my heart, do go on. <laughs> Maybe goes down to hell. That's not so great. You know, with the torture and eternal damnation. I'm retired. Besides, I didn't create hell, I just worked there. And now you're talking in the first person. Because he's the devil. Are you the devil. a method actor? What? Ugh. Oh, no. Ella, I think if hey, if Chloe don't want to get down for the one time, then Ella, if you just want to, I think you got it all figured out. Rebelled against his dad. Just a little Lucy. Fallen angel. Sex, orgies, rock and roll, drugs, alcohol. He's just a guy. It's no different than anybody downtown. I guess that's one way to put it. That could be your mother, baby. There's a whole lot of money, baby. Jillian wasn't as innocent as she seemed. Well, maybe she. I'd be sick to my fucking stomach if I watched the detective come in and find that money. And if I was a lady renting that house out, and there was just a wad of cash under a couch I didn't know about. Fuck, man. She did the cash to fund her flamingo army. Maybe they gave it to old girl. Check on Jillian's financials, see if she made any large cash deposits, and if so, when. Which is the perfect choice of her's body, really. Young, beautiful, worshipped and adored by millions. You're making less sense than you normally do. That's because you're uh, Yeah, you don't me. believe what he says. Can't he just, just... Test my blood, detective. Then we can have a real conversation. Can't he just flash his fucking devil balls at her? I scared her away. I made a deal as 100% like a fallen angel as well. I mean, this man's out here just fornicating, drinking. What else is he doing? Well, everything was fine until he went all lovey-dovey on her. Really? Because I seem to remember her telling both of us where to shove it. Up the ass. You said peg yourself. Warner Brothers! That's where the Animaniacs stay at. Oh my god, not the cocaine. Well, now I know where I got my taste for the good life. What are you doing in here? Amy Dard, eh? Role model for teen girls, awkward erection for their fathers. A Fucking what? Ooh. I'm tired of everyone thinking I'm so innocent. But I'm not, and I'll prove it. Please, oh, no, my God. Don't. Good Lord, that's... Uh, no. No, no. No, you just turned Lucifer into a fucking priest. I hope. Oh, I'm exactly who you think I am. Well, then this truly is the most... No! Important no! no. Stop doing the buttons and just... <laughs> Miss Dodd? It's not what it looks like. What the hell is going it's on? It's not right, what it looks once, like. This is not what it looks like. Think about that thought process for Lucifer for a second. Is he has this young girl on top of him? One. Two, he thinks that it's his mother that just kissed him. What? Ugh. Ugh. Poor guy. I'm, not out. I'm an adult. I can make my own decisions. Clearly. Hey, brother, having a teddy bear doesn't mean anything. Having having a stuffed animal literally means nothing. All right? Does it make you any more of a child? Any more of an adult. Jerry will whip your ass. Anyways. I think the drug dealer is your mother. Well, she's clever enough to pull it all off. What? Either it is his mom or it's just one big giant coincidence. But we do have 18 episodes this season, so a lot can happen. It can be a lot of tomfoolery. You thought I took after my dad? I'm scared to find out the truth. I'm not scared about anything other than finding out what STDs you have. Very funny. Going back to the STD joke, baby. Somebody has to be riddled with something in this show, bro. Y'all out here slanging too much. What the hell are you doing in here? I'm sorry, I, uh... I must have gotten lost. Huh. Good night. Must have gotten lost and nobody's gonna question anything? You don't think you deserve any of the blame. I wonder if his powers are getting weakened because of the wound that he suffered. Or maybe somebody that was nearby is also his like vulnerability thing, just like Chloe is to Lucy. I'm asking the question. Are our sessions actually helping or just making things worse? Hey, that's a really good question. Think about it. Break it down for a minute. Linda's just trying to do her job, damn it. And she's very good Super. at what she does. Did you he said you wanted to talk? Did he remodel his place or did they just get some better lighting? Hello, Chloe. I think they just got some different lighting. 
What's up, brother? What's going on? I really was hoping I wouldn't have to do this, but recent developments have left me with no other choice. No! <sighs> this man just shot himself point blank. Okay, you're gonna be fine. This is gonna be hard for you to hear, which is why I needed you to see what Lucifer is. Lift your shirt up and show you're not wearing a. I mean, you bleed, never mind. I don't believe it. Good. Because it's all a lie. Bulletproof vests and blood packs. Are you insane? You could have killed yourself. I was perfectly safe, Chloe. This, by the way, is what Lucifer wore when you guys confronted Malcolm. How would you know that? Because I put it on him. He knew what he was walking into. Oh, motherfucker. Oh, what a pause. I really thought for a whole ass split second that he really just spilled the beans and I was going to be more upset. That she didn't find out on her own what Lucifer was. That he was just like, hey, here's what we are. Bop, bop, bop. Angels. And he ever truly lies to his himself. You are gaslighting the fuck out of her. How about you just say, what? why doesn't she say, what's your name again? And he's like, Aminadil Kahanahan. Whatever the fuck his last name is. Decker. Another Decker. biblical name. No. I had a thought for a second. I was like, what if, what if his mother was like, what if she possessed Chloe? Imagine how fucked this show would be for that. I'd be sick. But I don't think that's the case. This man just poured his heart out in a little AA meeting. He has mommy and daddy issues. Don't worry about him. I've got some really good stuff if you've got cash. Are we playing show and tell? I got something to show you. I actually found this on the ground. It's just an even mine. <laughs> I just, uh, what is it? It really isn't. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Where, where do those come from? Right. Yeah. Now I've flushed out your dealer. Do you mind if I... Knock yourself out. <laughs> those really are not mine. Oh, of course they aren't. I don't really think I could do that to someone. This man you immediately fucking this said, I found it on the ground. I think you were trying to send a message. Yeah. <laughs> You know, people are actually squeamish like that. I never knew that ever that people were squeamish when it comes to that. I think the Internet numbed me to a lot of things like the dark web being young with the Internet and watching those horrific videos. And being in New York and seeing what presumably are just dead bodies on the floor. Sometimes you just like. Hmm. OK. I think the only thing about clubs I don't really like is like just like how loud it is. Maybe that's just me getting older. Like if you turn the volume down like just a smidge to where it was like you could have a conversation with somebody close to you, it'd be pretty nice. And it's a lot less of like, what'd you say? Yeah, no, man, work was good. Oh, what? No, I said work was good. Yeah, man, no, work was good. Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah, there'd be a lot less of that shit. May said, what up, baby? Who's trying to come up here and make a motherfucker sneak attack? Ninja baby, ninja mama. And down the steps he goes. Little punk ass kid. I missed you. Yeah. I, before she gives that, look how well he repaired his bar in two days. I'm sure he hired, hired people for it, but like, it's a lot of alcohol to put back up. All brown liquor, too, by the way. Shouldn't you be more. He goes by the name of, of a Bobby B. Well, maybe there are things you wouldn't understand about me either. Y'all need to patch up your little... I don't like y'all fussing at each other, but we gotta go see... Bu 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 right? No. Ooh, like a mother, baby. I have some issues that I need to work out, and I think I know just how to do it. This man read the word what? mother and fucking had a demon twitch. <laughs> Did you... Uh, what is wrong with you people? Did you tar and... Nice. You tar and feather that poor boy? Mr. Deal didn't even question that shit. I believe that it all really exists. What do you mean? Say angels or the what? devil, that sort of thing. That's all a metaphor, right? Maybe. Maybe not. Oh, OK. It's pretty. I just thought there'd be more faith in your faith, I guess. <laughs> oh, no. See, my aunt was a nun, OK? And she always taught me that doubt was really important, right? I mean, if you don't question something, hey. what's the point of believing it? Woo. I doubt. 
So that I can believe. Ooh. So then if you had the chance to prove it was all real or fake, would you do it? I mean, that kind of defeats the point, don't you think? It's fate. You know? Roses. What? What do roses have to do with faith? No, nothing to do with faith. And everything to do with the case. All right, she went off on a fucking tangent, but there were some bars getting thrown right there. He's like, hey, you know, if you... Doubt is super important. There's a lot of people that'll tell you that you're not allowed to doubt. But I think if you're not doubting, not necessarily doubting, if you're not questioning a lot of shit, then what's the point, man? Why are we here? Huh? The, the astronomical chance that there are even humans. We are on... A fucking rock floating through nothingness. Infinite nothingness. We're just floating on a fucking pebble rapidly towards what? A giant black hole? We're just expanding? Enjoy your existential crisis. Why are we here? Uh, okay, so I... I... Oh! Poker. Go on, I'll give you a freebie just to make it interesting. Why do you think it's possible, bro? Chloe's probably in the goddamn vicinity. Ah, taser. At least she upgraded. And she's out. Nearly had her. Almost. <laughs> Second charge never hurt nobody. And I wouldn't have got a, I would have got away with it too. It wasn't for you, Maitland little devils. You done tossed his blood sample away. I would throw that away somewhere more safe and sanitary than the goddamn trash can next to your desk. And meanwhile, Amenadiel's testing his powers. Maybe somebody in the office. Maybe somebody in the office is the devil. Or is his mom? Wouldn't be Dan. Doesn't make any sense. Yeah, that or getting brought back affected his psyche in some way or another. Spoke. Not brought back, but healed. See? Okay, okay. So scratch the cop thing. Something's going on with him. Probably from being healed. Mom. Help me. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. All right, so, I mean, we found his mom at the end of the first episode. That leaves the other 17 episodes a goddamn mystery. She showed up with a screwdriver in her head. She done caught a body somewhere, a screwdriver in her hand. Uh, so it looks like, I think, I think Maze and Dr. Martin are a little thing thing. They could be besties, but I'll ship them together. Little Dr. Maze. Maraise. Martin. <laughs> so everything's coming up. Lucifer, while investigating the murder of a stand in actress, Chloe attempts to solve the mystery of Lucifer's origin once and for all. So she doesn't actually test his blood because the minute says they can't have any proof of divinity. Otherwise, they'd go cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. She'll, she has to learn at some point or another. It's just, I like that. Hopefully, it's not anytime soon. Hope they keep building, 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 building towards it. Him thinking he was making out with his mom was fucking horrible. That's just, that's horrific. But something's going on with the Minadil. Again, I think getting healed with that golden feather gave him some sort of vulnerability somewhere in this life. Something about it. Maybe he's just weakened. Or because he's been drinking and sexing and whoring, he's lost some of his magical powers. May still a ninja, though. Obviously, Lucifer's like, hey, I'm, I'm bleeding. I'm getting beat up by some older lady. It's simply because Chloe was in the vicinity. I would love to know the radius about that or if he can wear like a bubble suit or something. Dan being back is just kind of like, oh, what the fuck ever? Who cares? Hopefully there's a point to that at some point. Mm, I think that's really it. Him going back to apologize to Dr. Martin was really, really nice. Hey, I'm sorry. Thank you. I'm also scared. Please hear me out. The case took a big sidestep in this. One. I like this episode way more than any of the other case things because the case was definitely second fiddle to everything else going on. And Aminadil shooting himself, and it's a bulletproof vest and a blood pouch, blah, blah, blah. That's so fucking convenient, right? There's no way if I'm Chloe, I'm believing that. I would have already just believed that he was alive, that he was the devil. I'd be like, fuck it, bro, you're the devil. It is what it is. Can you give me some money or something? 
it's a really good season opener, but it it leaves it it ends in a way where it's like, okay, Lucifer, he doesn't know what his mom's up to. He's terrified, but his mom's there and she's weakened. Maybe the lady she went to or whatever it is, hopping from soul to soul or body to body. She's there. We got Amendo dealing with his issues. May's kind of just being adrift. Dr. Linda Martin standing her ground. I like that she has boundaries. Chloe kind of there. Dan. And then no Trixie whatsoever. I do like Ella. L. I don't remember if it was Ella or L now. But I really like her being introduced. Hopefully she's a reoccurring character. We need more of those. More reoccurring characters. More new faces. And we'll see how the season progresses. So we have 17 episodes left in season two. Episode one was entitled Everything's Coming Up Lucifer. Episode two is entitled Liar Lottie. Wait. Take two. Liar Liar. Slutty dress on fire. And with that out of the way, I'm out. Links and everything will be in the description box down below. Playlist will be up on screen. As always, stay cute, stay hydrated, and I will catch you on the next one.